Today I'm going to teach you an arm series which is going to really activate your deep core muscles. I'm going to use this squishy ball. Can you see? You can see I deflated it a little bit. You don't have to use the ball. You can just lie down flat on the mat. Sometimes I find that when you first start Pilates, you really feel better with the ball underneath your lower back. It gives you that extra support and you don't need to work as hard. But sometimes you might feel it's too challenging, you feel too wobbly, insecure about this. So please feel free to choose what works for you. All right, I'm going to demonstrate with the ball, but you don't have to use it. It's kind of deflated, so I don't need to work as hard to keep my balance. All right, let's begin. So we're going to lie down on our back. The way to use the ball is to place it on your lower back, but not too close to your tailbone and not too far up here on the arch of the back. Wherever you put the ball is where you get that wobbliness and a little bit of an arch. You want to place it really low on your lower back, so that's closer to your tailbone, all right? So just underneath your sacrum. You need to play around a little bit with it so you feel that you're secure and you have some kind of a balance. Again, you can just take it out completely, all right? Once you've got the ball there, you can try to just rock your pelvis back and forward like we did in the basic principles of Pilates. So you're arching your lower back and then you're pressing the lower back into the ball and that actually feels really good just to release the pelvis a little bit. We're normally very stuck around the pelvis area. You can just do a little bit of roll to the side, to the left and to the right. Just release the hips a little bit. And then I want you to find your neutral position. So if you were on the floor without the bowl, you would be able to kind of balance a glass of water on your lower abdomen and it wouldn't spill towards your chest and it wouldn't spill between your legs. It will be just in the middle. Obviously, because you are a little bit in a diagonal, it wouldn't apply here, but you get my point. I just want you to maybe go forward, rock forward and back and find that midpoint position. Once you've got that, you're going to take your arms down by your side, reach the fingertips towards the feet so you can feel the lengthening of the shoulders away from the ears and then get the shoulders back. I want you to get those ribs down towards the hips. So it's a little bit of an imprint. If you don't, you're not sure about what I'm talking about, imprint, neutral, please go back to the basic principles. It's so fundamental that you go through that tutorial first before you start on your Pilates journey. So place the thumbs on the ribs, fingers on the hip bones, taking a breath in through the nose. And as you breathe out, bring the ribs towards the hips. So you get the connection with the rib cage pulling towards your hips. Taking a breath in through the nose. And as you breathe out, you're going to pull the belly in, pull, lift the pelvic floor a little bit, really feel the tightness through the lower abdomen and then lift the right leg up to tabletop. Now I'm trying to really make sure my pelvis is as stable as I possibly can. And that's extra challenging on the ball, but the ball will give you that indicator whether you are connecting to your lower abs, to your deep core muscles. And now lower the toes, the ball of the foot, and then the heel. So inhale to prepare again. Exhale, feel the abdomen pulling in, pelvic floor lifting up. Continue to breathe out as you lift the left leg up to tabletop. <sighs> Inhale, lower the toes, the ball of the foot, and then the heel. Do it again. Inhale to prepare. Exhale, pull the abdomen in. Continue to breathe out to lift the right leg up. <sighs> Inhale, lower the toes, the ball, and then the heel. Inhale to prepare once again. Exhale, lift the left leg up to tabletop. Inhale, lower the toes, the ball, and then the heel. We're going to do it one more time on each leg. I want you to feel how the transition of weight is playing a very significant role here. You're going to press into the left foot a little bit more, feel the left side of your body heavy, so you can lift the right leg up without moving your pelvis. Exhale, lower 
the toes down and then the heel. Inhale, press into the right foot and then lift the left leg up. Exhale, lower the left leg down. It seems a very simple movement, but there's a lot going on here. Now, if you feel good with that, let's continue. Take a breath in. And as you breathe out, again, cool the abdomen. Then continue to lift the right leg up. Take another breath in. And as you breathe out, you're going to move the right knee away from your chest. Like you want to tap your right foot into a little swimming pool underneath your feet. And then inhale, lift it back up. Let's do the same leg again. Exhale as you lower the leg. But make sure you're not doing it from the knee joint. It's not here. You're not bending the knee. You're taking the right thigh away from your chest. Inhale, bring it back. One more time. Exhale, take it as far as you can keep the tummy in. You can check with your hands. Inhale, lift it back up. Exhale, lower the right foot down. Let's do the other side. Inhale to prepare. Exhale, lift the left leg up to tabletop. Inhale to hold. As you breathe out, lower the left leg down. Again, keep that 90 degree angle between your shin and your thigh. Inhale, lift the leg back up. Two more times. Exhale as you lower. Inhale as you lift. How far you go is completely up to you. Exhale as you lower. Inhale as you lift. Exhale as you lower the left leg down. It might feel very different from one side to the other. From here we have options. So you can keep one foot on the floor and then lift the one leg and then work with that leg. Or you can lift both legs up. So as you progress and as you feel stronger, I do encourage you to try both of them. Even maybe today, you never know. You just need to try. All right? So let's, let's begin. Inhale, lift the right leg up. I'm going to show the version with the leg on the floor. Exhale, reach the right leg away in a long diagonal. The leg can be as high as here. The lower you go, the more load on your abs. So you just choose the level that you want to work in. Inhale, bring it back in. Exhale, lengthen the leg away. Inhale, bend the knee. So you're strengthening your abs and your leg. Exhale, stretch away. Inhale, return. Two more times. Exhale, reach away. Make sure your neck is long, shoulders away from ears. Inhale, bring it back in. Exhale, reach away. And then hold the leg. Inhale, lift the right leg up. How far? Again, it's completely up to your body. Don't force anything. I'm keeping my tailbone relaxed. I'm not lifting my pelvis in order to gain more, more height with my leg. Exhale, lower down. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. Try to activate through the right thigh. Really stretch that knee. Exhale, lower. Last one through. Inhale, lift. Hold it. You can grab the thigh with your hands behind your thigh and gently pull on it. So give yourself a good stretch. Breathing in. You can flex your foot, you can point your foot, you can bend the knee a little bit and just give yourself a good stretch. Everything works, everything is fine. And then slowly release down. So if you're going to give you some space to learn, to be curious, to make mistakes, to go easy on your body, to use modifications, there's no way you're not going to succeed. Let's do the other side. So inhale to prepare, exhale, lift the left leg up to tabletop. Inhale to hold. Exhale, reach the leg away. One. Inhale, bend. Exhale, lengthen. Two. Inhale, remember to breathe out. Exhale, three. And pull the belly in. Inhale, you can go a little higher if it's too much. Four. Inhale, you can go a little bit lower if you want to challenge yourself. Five. Hold it. Inhale, lift the leg up. Exhale, lower the leg down. One. Inhale. Exhale, two. You can take a break if it's too much to go one after the other. Three. Give yourself the permission. Exhale, four. Inhale. Exhale, five. Inhale, lift the leg up. You can bend the knee, bring the knee towards your chest, relax for a moment, 
and then give yourself a hamstring stretch. Yeah? Breathing in and breathing out. Breathing in and now bend the knee and shake it out. Good. Well done. All right. So again, the progression would be to do the whole series with the other leg up in tabletop. So choose freely whatever you want to do today and you'll see that your body is progressing really quickly. From here, let's release a little bit. Take a breath in. And as you breathe out, ribs to the hips, lift the lower back, middle back, upper back. Inhale to hold. Exhale, melt the chest bone, middle back, lower back, and then the tail. One more time. So really just opening those hips. Inhale to prepare. Exhale, lift the tailbone, middle back, upper back. Press into the feet, lift the chest up. Exhale, melt the chest bone, middle back, lower back, and then the tail. Good. So now we're going to work on the upper body awareness and stabilize it through our pelvis with our core. So I'd like you to take so I'd like you to take the arms up towards the ceiling, taking your breath in through the nose. And as you breathe out, take the arms over your head. Now, if you remember in the basic principle, we talked about the rib cage placement. So if you take your arms all the way over your head, you might feel that you're arching your ribs, arching your lower back. So you might need to take your arms a little bit off the mat and really pull the ribs towards the hips so engage with the tummy. Inhale, lift the arms up towards the sky. Exhale, take the arms over your head. Now this time, try to control that arch in your lower back. Keep the ribs down. Inhale, lift the arms straight up. Exhale, arms over your head. Keep those ribs engaged, so pull the tummy in. So if you don't, you're not sure, if you want to arch your back and then bring the ribs back. So always exaggerate the movement and then you know where you should be in place. Last one through. Inhale, lift the arms up. Exhale, arms over your head, ribs down. Inhale, lift the arms up. Okay, from here you're going to have options. You can keep your feet on the ground and do the rest of the arm movement with me. Or I'm going to show you that we have a choice to work with a single leg in the air. Alright, so if you want to progress, go for it. Inhale to prepare. Exhale, lift the right leg up to tabletop. Alright, now from here, inhale, lift the arms over the head. Keep the ribs in. Exhale, circle the arms around. One. Inhale, lift the arms over the head. Exhale, circle the arms around. So keep going with this three more times. And I want you to notice whether you are a little bit wobbly with your pelvis. Use the breath and the connection with your arms. Five, take the arms up towards the sky. Now we're going to reverse it, but we're not going to reverse the arms before we move and we change legs. So lower the right leg down and then lift the left leg up. Take a breath in through the nose. Exhale, lower the arms, circle the arms around, one. See, and again, you might feel that one side is much more difficult than the other. Three. Inhale, lower the arms, exhale, circle the arms, widen around. Inhale, exhale, five, lower the foot down, take another breath in. As you breathe out, lift the right leg up to tabletop. Take a breath in. And as you breathe out, scissor the arms, one, scissor the arms, two, scissor the arms, three, scissor the arms, four, scissor the arms, five. Take the arms back up towards the sky, exhale, lower the right foot down. Inhale, lift the left leg up to tabletop. Remember, every time you scissor, you breathe out, you connect with your tummy. Take a breath in through the nose, exhale, scissor. Inhale, swap, exhale, scissor. Exhale, scissor, two more. Inhale, take the arms back up. Exhale, lower the foot down. Relax the arms down by your side. Good. So now, so now we're going to try to lift both legs up to tabletop. Arms are down. You're going to take a breath in. And as you breathe out, bring the ribs towards the hips. Inhale, lift one leg up to tabletop. 
and then the other one to tabletop. Now see whether this ball underneath your sacrum actually gives you more comfort because it kind of helps you to lift the legs up. You can try both options and see what's good for your own body. Okay, and go with that. If you feel this is too much, your tummy is already bulging, your legs are really aching, you can take your knees a little bit towards your chest. It's a little bit of a chip. It's a little bit of a chip. You can take your knee towards your chest, all right, like this. So it's a little bit easier to hold the legs. And then slowly and progressively try to take your knees away from your chest so your knees are just on, the knee, just on top of your hips. All right, so the furthest the knees are away from your chest, obviously the liver is uh, higher and the load on the tummy is going to be bigger. So adjust it to your own body, all right? Take a breath and really press into the arms. And as you breathe out, lengthen the right leg away. Inhale, come back to in. Exhale, lengthen the left leg away. Inhale, return. Exhale, reach the leg. You can see that I'm showing you different options. The leg can go as high as a long high diagonal, or it can go lower. Yes, obviously lower is going to be more challenging on your abs. So choose your pose. <laughs> choose your poison. Good. Inhale, come back in. Exhale, reach the left leg. Inhale, return. Let's do one more on each leg. Exhale, reach. Inhale, return. Exhale, reach. Inhale, return. And you can hug your knees towards your chest and rock yourself from side to side. That feels really nice. Relax the legs down. Arms are down. And let's do a hip roll. Take a breath in. Exhale, tap the tailbone under and scoop the abdomen. Press into the feet and the arms to lift. Exhale, melt the chest and middle back, lower back and tail. Go again, lift the tailbone, middle back, lower back. We go again, inhale, lift the tailbone, lower back, middle back, upper back. Exhale, melt chest, but middle back, lower back, and then the tail. And now you need to adjust your ball. Okay, and now we're going to finish this series with some more challenging stuff. You can try to do whatever you could do. And if this is too much, you can always choose to leave one leg on the floor and keep flowing, me, or flowing with me until you get stronger. Just give yourself some time, all right? All right, so before we continue, we're gonna take the ball out. I'm gonna place it between our knees. Arms alongside your body. You might need to find your neutral again because we've changed our position. So just find that neutral. Arms alongside your body. Take a breath in. And as you breathe out, just squeeze the ball with your knees. Inhale, release the tension. Go again. Exhale, squeeze. Inhale, release. Do it a few more times. And every time you squeeze the ball, I want you to feel pelvic floor engaging and lower abdomen tightening. And it's when I'm deflating the ball, I'm like, pulling the belly in like I'm deflating my belly and I'm lifting pelvic floor. Five more, five, inhale, release. Exhale, four, inhale, release. If it's getting too much, just release the tension. You can make it your own. You don't have to press the ball so much. Exhale, two more, or take a break. Exhale, definitely allowed. <laughs> and then release, okay? So from here, you're going to take a breath in, and as you breathe out, press into the arms. This time, keep your neutral, so don't roll the spine. Just press into the feet and the hands and lift the hips up to your shoulder bridge. Make sure your ribs are connected so you're not flaring your ribs out, all right? Taking your breath in through the nose, and as you exhale, lift the hips up. Okay, so from here, you're just going to press to lift the hips up. So don't roll the hips. Imagine your, your back is sank in concrete. You can't move it. You're just shifting your pelvis up by using your hips. All right. So you're just lifting your, just lifting your pelvis. Okay. So from here, imagine that you sank your spine in concrete and you can't move it. And you're going to lift the pelvis up just by pressing the hips up. 
taking a breath in through the nose. As you breathe out, press into the arms and the feet and lift the hips up. Hold the bridge, make sure the ribs are in. Take a breath in through the nose. As you breathe out, squeeze the ball. One, release, exhale, two. Inhale, release, exhale, three. Inhale, release, two more, exhale, four. Inhale, release, exhale, five. Inhale, release, and then slowly stick your tailbone out and lower the pelvis down in one chunk. All right, take a breath in again. And as you breathe out, press into the arms and the feet and lift the hips up. Good. Take a breath in through the nose again. Now as you breathe out, stay up and just tuck the tailbone between your legs a little bit more. Inhale, release the tailbone out. Keep everything hovering, it's just the tailbone tucking between your legs. Inhale, release the tailbone down. Go again, exhale. So the hips are hovering. I'm just tilting my pelvis back and forward. Really feel that you're pulling the belly in as you're tucking the tailbone under and then you're releasing the tailbone towards the floor. Two more. And then release. Exhale. And release and all the way down. If you felt it was too much on your neck or your back, you might need to go much lower with this exercise, meaning just hovering a little bit off the mat and doing that tilt with your pelvis. Always lie down on the brine, on the tip of your shoulder blades. Don't go too high onto your neck, all right? Let's continue. We're gonna bring the ball underneath your sacrum for a finale series of exercises. We're gonna try two legs up in the air. Inhale, lift the right leg up to tabletop. And as you exhale, keep the ribs in, pelvic floor engaged, imprint your spine, lift the other leg up to tabletop. Imagine there was another ball between your knees. Take a breath in through the nose. And as you breathe out, just squeeze the knees together, feel the inner thighs engaging like you just did with the ball. Lift pelvic floor and feel the abdomen tightening in. And then release the tension between the knees. Go again. Exhale, a little bit of a squeeze between your inner thighs. Inhale, release it. If this is already too much, try to bring the knees closer to your chest. See whether that helps. If it's, all, if it's too much, just take one leg down. And then you're going to continue with me with single leg and then do it on the other side. All right? Take another breath in. And as you breathe out, you're going to reach one leg away. Remember, you can control how far you go with it. Exhale, you're going to reach the other leg away. So we're doing a bicycle motion for the first time. Exhale, reach the right leg. Exhale, reach the left leg. So there's a sniff between the leg movements, but it's an exhalation every time you reach the leg up. Exhale, exhale, exhale. Tummy pulls in. Exhale, five more please, five, four, three, and last one. Good, bring both knees towards your chest. If you need, hug your knees towards your chest and take a break, all right? Take a break with your feet down, that's okay. If you're ready for another challenge, we're almost finished, take a breath in. And as you breathe out, stretch both legs away. Inhale, return back in. So this is a serious load on your belly. Again, you can go, you can regress to the, to the previous exercise. So single leg, only two, single leg instead of two. You can also modify by taking the legs a little bit higher. Inhale, return back in. Exhale. Inhale, you can put your hands on your belly. Make sure you're not bulging doming your lower abdomen, push the ribs towards the hips, you are in an imprint position, good, two more, last one, and now lift the legs straight up towards the ceiling, if this is getting into your lower back, bend the knees, take a break, 
skip this exercise whatsoever. Do what you need to do, that's okay. And now from here, you're going to take a breath in through the nose, exhale, lower both legs down a little bit, keep the belly pulling in. This is a little bit more advanced. Inhale, lift the legs straight up. Exhale. You can see I'm hardly moving my legs. I'm just trying to challenge my abs. If you feel more comfortable with this, you can definitely take the legs lower. But this is serious load on your abs. Good, two more. And then last one through. Legs are up, finishing with scissor. One leg goes down, one leg goes up. Again, you can bend the knees slightly if it's pulling too much. One, exhale two, inhale swap. Exhale one, two, inhale swap. You can do it very slowly and very small range like this. Breathe out every time you scissor. Scissor, scissor. Do two pulses, swap. One, okay, finishing with scissors. We're gonna do two pulses. Exhale one, exhale two, inhale scissor. Exhale one, exhale two, inhale scissor. Exhale one, exhale two, inhale swap. Exhale one, exhale two, inhale swap. Keep going. One more on each leg. Emphasis in, and now take both legs up and release. So now we're going to do the scissors. Stretch the legs up. If you need to, you can soften the knees a little bit, taking a breath in, finishing with scissors. Exhale, two pulses. One leg goes down, one leg goes up. One, a bit further, two. Inhale, swap. Exhale, one. A little bit further, two. Inhale, swap. The emphasis here is on the breath. Two breaths out, inhale, swap. Exhale, one, exhale, two, inhale, swap. And also think about the leg going down towards the floor. Engage with the bum cheek of the leg that is going down. One more on each leg. Take both legs up, bend the knees and relax. For the next time you're gonna try this session with me, if you felt a bit sensitivity in your lower back, you can, in the scissors exercise, you can bend the knees a little bit. You can also make it very small range. You don't have to go that far. Okay, relax, take the leg, take the butt. Okay, take the ball out, take the knees toward your chest, Rock yourself side to side, feet are down, one side, stretch. You can place the, take your knees towards your left. You can place your left knee over the right knee and stretch. Breathing in. And breathing out. Inhale, come back center. Exhale, move to the other side, both knees towards the right. You can, intensify, you can intensify this by placing the right knee over your left and stretching, breathing in and breathing out. And return, let's rock up and then to release the back, if you feel any tension, hands underneath your shoulders, knees underneath your hips, Scoop the abdomen and tuck the toe under and then release to your long line and maybe even to the arch and then scoop again. Now keep the scoop and lean back. When I'm leaning my hips back, my sitting bones towards my heels, I'm keeping some roundness in the back. So lower abdomen pulling in, feel the opening on the back of the back. I'm not collapsing completely with my chest towards my thighs. I'm pushing into my hands and I'm curving, rounding my back. And slowly, slowly, go all the way up to a sitting position. Again, if you felt that was a little bit too much, you can stop mid-